So we're going to solve homework problem 4, 162. We have a concrete form with some wet concrete. The wet concrete is applying a pressure that varies with the height. We have an equation for that, so it's 4z to the 1 half kilopascals. Kilopascals, as you might recall, is the same as a kilonewton per meter squared. So to get in that in our normal linear distribution, uh, loading distribution, we're going to multiply by some length scale. Luckily we're told in the problem that the wall has a width of 5 meters. And then we're, what we're looking for here is we're looking for the resultant force and the height where that bracing strut would be placed so it lies through that line of action of that resultant force. So the steps to solve this, step one, we're going to find our loading uh, equation in terms of uh, going to vary, or not vary, but it's going to have units of kilonewtons per meter. Step two, we're going to find FR. It's going to be the integration over L of WZ DZ. Step three, we're going to find the moment of that, which is going to be the integration over L of Z times W of Z DZ. And finally, we're going to find X bar or in this case we'll call it Z bar which is going to be MR over FR and that will give us the, well, the inverse of our height but we can use that to find our H. So that's our approach. So getting started, step one W of Z is going to equal our depth, so our 5 meters times our existing equation 40 Z to the 1 half, oh excuse me, 4 Z So we've got our 4z to the 1 half, and we're going to multiply that by 5, so we're going to get 20z, and all the units there are, are kilonewtons per meter squared, so our squared is going to go away, our meter is going to go away, so we get 20z to the 1 half kilonewtons per meter. So that's our loading profile there. Then we're going to integrate that. So step two, f of r is going to be the integration over L. So zero to four of twenty z to the one half dz. So we're, again, integration means we're going to increase this power by one and divide the the multiplication term by that whole amount. So we're going to have a z to the 1.1.5 up here. We're going to have 20 over 1.5 there. We're going from 0 to 4. So that's where we're evaluating. So at 4, it's going to be something. We're going to subtract off what we have at 0, and that will give us our FR. So we'll have 20 over 1.5 times 4 to the 1.5 minus 20 over 1.5 times 0 to the 1.5. Anything 0 raised to any power is going to be 0, so this whole thing becomes 0. And that part there will become FR equals 106.66, etc. kilonewtons is our unit there. Alright, so we got step 1 done, we got step 2 done. Now we need to take MR. It's going to be the product of our our last thing here, our loading curve times z. So step three, we have mr integration over from zero to four of z times twenty z to the one half with respect to z. So that equals uh, twenty zero to four twenty z to the 1.5 dz. If we multiply that out, we'll have integration from 0 to 4. Oh, let's put that on the other side. So we're going to have 20 over 
z to the 2.5. So again, we added 1 to this 1.5, made that the new power, divided by that. We're going from 0 to 4 again. So that becomes 20 over 2.5 times 4 to the 2.5 minus 20 over 2.5, 0 to the 2.5. So again, that becomes 0. And that bottom part here becomes 256 kilonewton meters. So that's MR. And which direction is that going? It's going to be going clockwise. So we're going to the to the right here. So I'll just put a clockwise sign there. And then lastly, so we got step three done. Lastly, step four, we're finding Z bar, which is going to be MR over FR. So I'll get a little more room here. Step four, Z bar equals MR over FR, 256 kilonewton meters over 106.6 kilonewtons and that becomes 2.4 meters so that's the height from the top since Z starts up here so if Z is 0 we have 0 pressure so it starts at the top working our way down so that means that we have this here is 2.4 meters so this H then is going to be 1.6 meters so I'll just add that down here so H equals 1.6 meters so there you have it